On today's Spicy Kiss Review, you probably saw this on my Instagram, might have thought it was photoshopped, it's not. This is Pringles Fried Chicken Flavor. Not surprisingly, this is from Japan, and for the life of me, I don't understand how Pringles Japan comes up with all of these unique flavors that would probably sell well in the States, or at least get some buys. And I have to just go off of eBay and go to this guy's eBay store, which will be in the description, to go and try this for science. Again, one of these dinky cans that I guess you can only get in Japan. I don't know if they're also available in other countries. We don't get these types of you know, smaller cans here anyway. It's 61 grams for if you're scoring at home. And so again, you know, some of the chips do get crushed in transit because it's you know, coming from overseas, probably by, you know, air mail, which I think took about seven to ten business days or so. Just looking at these, they're not really even coated at all. They look like plain chips. They just look plain. There's no actual seasoning that appears to be seasoning anyway on these. I really have no idea what to think of the smell. It's got a savoriness to it, almost like you want to put like that chicken base from the dry ramen on there but very faint it's more Pringles fakey potato chips than anything else it's a smell I can't really put my finger on either here we go Pringles fried chicken who would have thunk that tastes like the chicken batter What in the world? It honestly does taste like fried chicken. I am at a loss for words. What in the world is this? I, I, I don't know. Wow. You know, I can't read Japanese for beans, quite frankly. But the, the feel of this chip reminds me more of the of the batter that's you know put on the chicken before it goes into the fryer and then when you bite into that fried chicken when it comes out and you get all that crispy batter experience that's really the flavor that you get right off the bat on this I'm not sure exactly what's replicating the chicken aspect it could be you know chicken seasoning of some kind really bizarre but addicting at the same time if you're one that keeps an open mind on this stuff, you actually might like this one. This is pretty good. I actually give this a, a 4 out of 5. Maybe on the low end of a 4 because it's pretty outside the box even for me, but still quite solid. Okay, we all know this was not a spicy chip, so... You know that ghost pepper salsa shall make the appearance. We'll see if that fried chicken flavor somehow comes through on this too. It tried to come through on one chip, but really didn't quite get there, so I'm going to maybe triple up. That's two. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to triple up here, and we'll see how that works. Again, just a little bit of salsa because it's so powerful. I think everything just canceled each other out. Now it just tastes like a plain Pringles chip. You know, Pringles Japan, I have to say, you're thinking way outside the box even for me on this, but hey, I quite like this one. So what are your thoughts on Pringles fried chicken flavor chips? Would you try this for science? Let me know down in the comments. That's all for this Spicy Kiss review, everybody. Embrace that pain, and think outside the box anyway. And I'll see you in the next video.